Hi everybody, Mike Gertis from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living, bringing you another love note. And uh, you might see in the background, this is uh, Orlando, Florida. Of course, this is Orlando, Florida at night. And we could be just about anywhere at night, I could tell you with Orlando, Florida. But honestly, it is Orlando, Florida. And we're looking to flying back tomorrow. Uh, we, frankly, I've missed being home because although the weather down here has been warmer, um, I've been inside most of the time doing the different business conferences and that sort of thing. And I'm really enjoying the opportunity to be home and see yoga. And it's just always nice to be home, isn't it? I mean, coming home is one of the best parts about going anywhere is coming home. So I was reading an interesting article. Are you a person that's patient? Or are you a person that's more impatient than patient? Well, if you're impatient, I found out something that may, maybe will get you to thinking differently. Maybe will get you to thinking that you really want to become more patient. And what is that? Well, a study done came up with the facts that if you are a patient person, not easily upset, not easily aroused, not into reaction, but responding and taking things kind of mellow, if you're a patient person, you're 20% more likely to reach 65 or older than if you were an impatient person. So now you may say, wow, I can hardly wait to get there. The point is, um, if you're patient, it's better with your system it's, and it's better with everything you do. So you'll find that if just being impatient, you don't get the things you want most of the time. All you do, what I found, is just make people upset and angry. And when I'm finding that I'm getting other people upset and angry, guess who's upset and angry to begin with? Me. I found that the worst person to get upset and angry with is myself. And I'm also the easiest person to get upset and angry with. So I guess the first person to be patient with is myself, yourself. If you want to become a more patient person, start with yourself. Now that doesn't mean just to sit back and do nothing. No, 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 no. But what I am saying is, is that you can still get things done just don't have to stress over it. All you have to do is set the intention and let God do the rest and you need, you need, need to do your footwork. I heard a suggestion today that made a whole lot of sense. You know these little post-it notes, these three by three, by three post-it notes? Let's say that uh, when you go to bed tonight, on top of your smartphone or your wallet or your purse, whatever, you write down all this post-it note, the three most vital things for you to do tomorrow. Now it may be see the kids in school, it may be uh, go to the doctor, it may be call a client, whatever it is. But the three most important things that you have to do, put it on that three by three sheet. And then next morning, write out another one point of it is, is that you want to take that three by three sheet post-it note and put it right up where you are. Put it right up on the mirror where you can see it. Put it right up on the computer monitor where you can see it. Because you need to stay focused. If you stay focused and don't find yourself flittering around, getting easily distracted with 27 other things that are vitally to be done, and you just focus on the things that you set forth as being the important things to do, you'll be a whole lot less stressed. And chances are, you'll get more things done. Sounds good, doesn't it? So why don't you give it a shot? Be patient with yourself and get a post-it note, write down three things you're gonna to do tomorrow, and then do them. That's all for tonight. Looking forward to talking with you again soon. Know your love, bye-bye.